Hi guys, Dan Cooper here from Pro Tools Expert, and I've got myself a copy of UVI's new rotary plugin, and I'll give you three attempts to guess what effect this plugin is. I thought you'd only need one. Yes, this is a rotary effect. More specifically, this is a plugin emulation of several rotary cabinets. Some of you may be asking, what is a rotary cabinet and how does one work? Well, in short, a rotary cabinet is a box with a couple of speakers inside, one of them being a treble driver with a set of small rotating horns and the other being a bass speaker with a larger rotating drum. The rate, that being the speed of the rotation, can be adjusted. This generates that deep howl and moving tremolo-like effect that can be heard on countless Hammond organ recordings. Hammond organs without a rotary cabinet would be like Hank Marvin without a tremolo arm on his guitar, if you know what I mean. Hammond organs just don't sound exciting enough without a rotary cabinet. So let me quickly show you around the GUI and then I'll run some psychedelic tracks through this so you get an idea of what this thing sounds like. At the top we have a microphone placement section. Real rotary cabinets are mics for recording either in mono or stereo. And this section gives us kind of a digital workflow to that process. So you can see we've got the rotary cabinet here and a stereo pair of microphones and we can adjust the width. So if we put them together you've got all but mono wide distance, angle, and skew. And we've got seven different cabinet emulations that can be switched between here. Below that, we've got the rotation and amplifier section, commonly found on rotary cabinets. So we've got this speed in the middle here and the amplifier at the bottom. Now, as I said at the beginning, rotary cabinets have two speakers. Now we've got the treble, which is the small horns at the top, and the drum being for the bass driver. We've got an output gain, and an input drive. So if this is sort of set to the left, you're going to get more of a jazzy tone, more to the right, and it's going to be lovely and saturated. Now back up to this speed quickly. Corral, think of it like of a slow modulating pulsing effect. Far to the right, we've got tremolo, which is much more exciting. And we can set the rate of both of these here. And break in the middle, there is no tremolo effect going on at all. Now let me demo this on a Hammond organ that has no tremolo on it, so you can hear this thing in action. Right, that's quite boring, I'm sure you'll agree. So let's engage rotary, default preset. Bring the brake on. Corral. That's nice. Let's pull the horn down a little bit so you can hear just the drum, so the bass driver. And the opposite, let's increase the horn, bring the drum down. Tremolo. And increase the drive, get some saturation in it. Bring the output gain down a little bit. Now the microphone placement section, let's have a little go with this. Let's push the distance back. Wear headphones, you'll hear this much easier. Width. Now, there's another section to this plugin. It's hidden behind this cog. This is the settings section. Let's focus on the right hand side to start with. So we've got horn and drum. Keep that in your mind as treble and bass. Now, when we engage the tremolo from break, and sort of common with uh, rotary cabinets, is that there's going to be a delay to that effect kicking in. Uh, you'll hear this in so many Hammond organ recordings. You hear the Hammond organ will start to play a chord or a note, switch in the tremolo, and there's I don't know, a beat or two, a delay, and you can hear it ramp up. You can hear that tremolo building. And it's called here acceleration and deceleration. And as you can see here, it's already set to one second accelerate into it and half a second to go back to normal. Now, if I set this to 100 milliseconds and switch back over, hit play, play with the speed, it's in straight away, back to break. Now if we slow the acceleration time down, three seconds, listen closely. It's taking a little bit more time, let's really slow it. Ten seconds. Let's get in there, let's increase the rate, make that more obvious. Get in there. Full whack, that is lovely, that is so organic. I love that, oh, keep going. Now there's a few more controls found under the setting page for adjusting things like the input drive, reflections, delay compensation, 
box to fusion, which sounds quite nice. If I just demo that, power off. You can see open, close. Just changes the character of the tone. Off completely. Nice little feature that. Let's try this on something else. So, what do you reckon this is? Electric piano? How about an acoustic one? And I've also got this on a Mellotron. Let's have a listen to how that sounds. Without. With. Let's put the organ in. And this acoustic piano. Let's have a listen to that in the mix. Bypass. Ah, oh, so boring. Psychedelic loveliness. So what are my final thoughts on Rotary by UVI? Well, as you can probably tell, I absolutely love it. It's a great sounding plugin with lots of creative, horny retro charm. Unlike other tremolo plugins, it can be a bit clinical. This feels almost like an instrument. You know, you can automate all these controls, and when you do that, you'll sort of understand what I mean about this being an instrument. It's great fun. If I had to find fault, and there's a couple of minor little things, uh, the first would have to be with the controls found under the settings tab. Now, I think it's a bit of a shame that this wasn't incorporated into the main page, as quite a few of those controls, I think, are main feature controls, not sort of hidden away secondary ones. I also feel that this is lacking a wet dry blend control as I like the option to blend back in unprocessed signals into things like this. But as I said, those are minor things. If you're looking for a retro style modulation effect, then really look no further. This is a lot of fun to use. Go get yourself the demo and let us know your thoughts on Rotary by UVI in the comments below. Up and down from Pro Tools Expert and I'll catch you next time.